Hi everybody, how are you today? This is Sherry and welcome to my channel, Practical Stitches. I'm really excited about uh, something I just made. Uh, Quick Sew 3504 and I made View A up here. And they are a uh, straight jean leg, I believe. These, I think, are boot cut. Anyway, I thought I'd try it, and it worked out great. The only complaint about the finished product was my boyfriend likes a tighter fitting leg, and these are very straight cut. I believe doesn't really say on the pattern anyway it's uh, it comes in sizes small to extra extra large uh, I did a large and they weren't it's hard to figure out the size because of that like a waist measurement or a hip measurement, but the finished measurements are on the pattern pieces. Uh, the waistband has the waist measurement and the hip measurements on one of the pant pieces on the tissue paper. And it says that you need uh, 1.75 meters of fabric. I bought two meters because I didn't know what I was going to make out of it and it says for an extra large you need two point two and a half meters I think or 2.4 meters anyway I had almost half a meter left I bought two meters um, I paid two dollars for the fabric and I made it out of this camouflage which I think I told you about anyway my boyfriend's not here to try them on. We'll see if we can get him to model them later, but maybe not. Anyway, I did all the top stitching. I even got a jean button and put on there, which was not hard. And I really enjoyed sewing them. The uh, top stitching. It's I used a Gutterman jean thread and, oh, you can't see. It has like silver in it. That's pretty cool. Anyway, these are wicked. I'm sorry, but they just are. They are wicked. They turned out really good, and I didn't do a pattern in the back pocket, but I'm going to make another pair at a denim, because this is like a camouflage print, and it's quite dark. It was two bucks. The zipper cost more than the fabric and the jean button. Anyway, they turned out really well. And this pattern was easy to follow. Uh, the only problem with it is, and I'm just going to hold it up and show you. Sorry about the crinkling. But where is it? Number four to step seven, the pictures are pretty much non existent. It's like they're not printed. So, and I'll show you the difference. So you can see the pictures on this side, they're all there. But there's almost nothing in this picture here. Now the instructions are there, the written instructions, but the picture that speaks a thousand words is missing. <laughs> so, and it's the inserting the zipper for the fly that's missing. So it was steps four to seven. So if you, and I just bought this not in the fall, I think. So it's not like old or anything and there's no I couldn't find a phone number to call them but at the end 
there is a website and there's a website on the pattern piece and they want you to fill out a survey or something. Take a moment and share your comments. So maybe I was able to sew it together without, but I was really, I was putting my glasses on and trying to see how come I can't. <laughs> so they're just not there. <laughs> you can't see them. It's not an invisible ink or anything. They're not there. Anyway, pay a lot of money for patterns. The whole instruction should be there. But I really enjoyed making them. And I'm getting ready to cut out another pair. And this is going to be stretch denim, so I don't know how much of the size is going to be changed. Anyway, hopefully not very much. And I was making a pair of pants. I think I told you about it in my last vlog. I was making uh, this jean pattern for me. I needed a pair of pants for work, and I wanted to try it. What is it? 7608 and they were they're too big I did wear them to work and I just put elastic in the waistband because it became a bit of an emergency that I needed pants because my other ones ripped <laughs> so luckily it was when I was leaving work getting into my vehicle and anyway I need works for pants for work so <laughs> that was funny so I have been able to wear them but they are very big and I think I'm gonna have to do a lot of adjustments to this pattern now luckily it's a Sandra Bazzini pattern and I actually have her book on fitting so I should be able to figure it out but it's gonna take me a while and I'm gonna cut them a smaller size and I have enough material to make another pair, which I'm going to have to do soon, but anyway, the other ones are wearable. I'm just not going to show them to you because they're just big. They're just baggy. So, and they're black, so you're not going to be able to see them anyway. So, I'm in the jean making process and hopefully I can get something else made soon to show you before too long <laughs> and I'll show you the next pair of jeans that I make I'm gonna try it's very dark denim it's probably like darker than this this is navy darker than that and I'll you try and use the yellow jean thread this time and see how straight my stitching is because it's gonna show up a lot anyway very proud of my wicked jeans as a denim or a camouflage fabric that cost me two bucks. Pretty excited. So, or the fabric cost me two bucks. So that's a good make. And it's nice sturdy fabric. It's, well, I told you in my fabric haul that it was, feels like needle cord, but it isn't. But it does attract cat hair and threads so pretty excited about I've never made a pair of jeans before so I think they turned out really good and when I hopefully they still fit when he tries them on he's at work so when he gets home he'll have to try them on when he gets a minute and hopefully I'll have another pair for him very soon because I'm cutting them out right now. So I hope you like this video and yes I got my hair cut and have fun sewing. I'm excited about all this. I have so many ideas and not enough time to do it all in. So I'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.